Listen, Capcom, I, um, I don't offer sexual favors. That's just one of my things in my contract that I just won't do. Um, but what I can do, I, I, you can send me up to the office. I'll, I'll sweep, mop, um, I'll, I'll take out the trash. I can clean up around the office. You know what I mean? I can clean my ass off. With no pay, it, it could be. It's you know, as much as slavery is, is is banned here in America, I'm willing to s s do some slave. I'm not saying I'm going to slave. You know what I'm saying? There's there's no way I'm going to slave for anybody. But I would do slave labor just to make sure that the game comes here to the states. I am. I am willing to do just a. I'm not slaving now. There's no way we're going back to the slave days not with me. All I'm saying, I would do some slave labor in the aspects of cleaning around the office, doing some file work, uh, uh, taking out the trash, uh, uh, whatever, sweeping, mopping, vacuuming, wiping, you know, whatever, whatever you need me to do just to make sure that this game comes to the States. I'm willing to do those type of things just to bring this bad boy to the States. I will not do any sexual favors, though. That that's one thing in my contract that will I will not stand by. Cause you know these Japanese are freaks. You, you huh? These Japanese, the, the most freakiest people on the planet are the white man and and Japanese men, freaks. They'll they'll get they'll do some nasty shit. They'll put hamsters up the renal canal. They'll they'll they'll. Get <laughs> I'm serious. They will put up a hamster and the hamster to scratch out all of the prostate. They'll, they, they, they'll put hamsters up there. They'll have women kicking them in the balls with heels. They'll get one of those transgender women to, to fuck them in the ass. You know, they'll do all types of wild shit. Did freaks. Freaks. That's why when, when I look at white people and Japanese people, you know, they walking down the street all whatever. I look at them like, oh shit. You know what I mean? Like when in the private... These motherfuckers is doing some nasty shit. You know what I mean? Like nasty shitting and shit. Letting their girls shit in their mouth. They do nasty shit, Japanese. Yo, I am dead serious. They do nasty shit. I don't know why they do. They, they, they fucking shit on me right now, baby. You know, I don't understand. Pee in my mouth. I don't know. I don't. That's just some shit I do not understand. Why they, they love that shit. But that's what they do. I don't do sexual favors. If there's a woman around the office, I will do sexual favors. But we're talking about the men right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I got some news for you. Listen up. Uh, there is also good news on the front of possible localization. Oh my God, Zubby, do we know it's coming to the States? You know, I've given like a lot of people come to me and saying, do we know that it's coming to the States, though, Zubby? And it's like, since when haven't games been coming to the States? It's only been one company and one company alone that has been really denying us games from the States, and that's Sega. And Sega's a company that's so fucking bitter right now. They're a bitter company. No, 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 no. I'm not saying this to be disrespectful to, to, to Sega, but Sega wants to be part of this console race so bad. They do. But they can't due to the financial reasonings. But Sega's the only one that's really denied as a, what, um, Valkyrie Chronicles, what's that, is it called Valkyrie Chronicles 3? That's still in Japan and, 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 a, and a whole bunch of Yakuza games that we haven't got, even though we're getting getting them slowly but surely. Yeah, only that and, and you know, everything else has been coming to the States. So I don't know why people, Izobi is Yeez coming, and it's like all the Yeez games are here. All of Capcom games are here. Where do we get this whole notion that we're just not going to be getting Japanese games? Where, where did it start? Did, did I start this when I made my, my rant about please bring Yakuza to the States? I don't And it's Xbox fam. It's all do bros that's saying it too. The Japanese community. I mean, my, you know, the, the, my Japanese brothers who, who love the Japanese games. They don't say this bullshit. It's all do bros. Just keep saying this bullshit. Sony and Xbox do bros. So I don't know why. I don't know where this came from where we just don't get Japanese games. 
Yeah, so we, you know, are we gonna get the ease? Somebody asked me the other day, is ease coming to the? Is it coming? Is it look? And it's like, dude, all the ease games are coming, or have come. If you're a, if you're a, if you're a person asking for ease games, right? You should know that all the ease games are here. If you're a real ease fan, I'm a big ease fan, uh, Zobie, But is the Yeez, new ease games coming? It's like, what the fuck? But anywho, back to the video. There's also a good news on the front of possible localization. Listen up. While there have been reports of Capcom not planning to release the game in the West. Now, listen, the game's coming to the PC. Here in America, we have the best PC hackers ever on the, on the planet universe. If Capcom decides to say, fuck it, we're not breaking to the West, these PC hackers will hack the motherfucker for them and get the game for free. So why would Capcom miss out on all that money? Why would Capcom say, you know what, we'll bring the game, we'll earn money compared to this getting it for free? Anywho, producer Yoshi Onirunu clarified the point in an interview on the latest issue of the weekly Famitsu. Anasan mentioned that the publisher is focused on Japan first. Okay, that's cool, that's great. Because that's where their largest user base is, no doubt. But. That does not mean that the game has no chance to be released overseas down the line, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Dragon's Dogma is coming overseas. You know what? I don't even care if it comes to the Xbox One. I just want this game. It's one of my favorite role-playing games of last generation. It, it snuck up on me. I knew it was coming, but I was really feeling the hype. I was really feeling the negativity that the American re reviewers were giving it. All the American reviewers were just was lowballing it and just giving it minute and small detailic points that shouldn't even put in the review if you can't even criticize other bad other games that you gave nines and tens to. With no criticize. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to Japan, it's too much water, it's too much talking, there's too much you know what I'm saying? Really just try to throw people off on a loop. To find something negative about a Japanese game here in America. But I don't fall for that bullshit. I never have. Dragon's Dogma is one of the greatest RPGs. I, I can't wait to play as a with, with with my character and a cohesive unit of other of uh, uh, PlayStation users, and we're going out and fighting dragons and beasts. And my friends are flipping me up in the air, and I'm landing on the anal canal of a dragon and driving my sword up the anal canal like I'm one of these Caucasian and Japanese dudes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, please, Catcon, I'm telling you, I will come down to the studios. I will do no sexual favors, but I will do some type of slave. No, no, not slavery. Let's not get it twisted. Now we will not go back to the slave days. Where there will be no whipping. There will be no raping. There will be none of that bullshit. Pillaging, none of that. I'm talking about doing a little slave labor around the office for free, just to make sure that the game comes to the states. I'm serious. Hit me up. My Twitter is at Goku70. Zobi70, if you're looking for me, Capcom. At Goku Zobi70. <laughs>